Okay, this is an overview of the condition of the Allen & Heath GS3 mixing console. Dates back to the mid-1980s. So, uh, I've got a microphone, channel 1, uh, and I'm going to go in the mic channel, so I need to switch on the 48 volt phantom power, make sure that it's in microphone mode, that's with this button up, and I'm going to go to pre-fade listen, and I should hear that now on the uh, on the main stereo channel. And um, that can be used to set the gain. Um, this is the gain. I keep talking and adjust the gain and uh, adjust the gain till that's about a sort of reasonable minus uh, three or something on the uh, on the uh, meters. And now I'm going to switch off the prefade listen and bring back the uh, level using the main channel fader. Uh, I've uh, <coughs> colour coded the uh, switches here with the black centre to indicate the zero dB point, which isn't so easy to see when the pot knob is actually directly on top of the marking. So there we are. Uh, you can hear it's coming through here. Um, I can enable and disable the equalisation. Let's enable equalisation. And there's some uh, bass, that's a swept uh, low frequency unit. And there's a swept mid-range unit. I can just demonstrate the sweeping of that. Uh, you can hear that playing through if I keep changing the frequency. Leave it in the middle and switch it off. And then just a shelving high frequency EQ at uh, 12 kilohertz. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do this time is to take the... Um, Output from the channel Q, which is this pot here. I don't need to be assigned to left right. And the sound will come out of this Q uh, point here, channel Q, directly as a mono signal. And I'm going to inject that into the various uh, line inputs as we go through the, uh, the console. So let's plop this into line in for channel 2 and bring that up. So there we are, that's showing that line input, and again it is adjusted with this gain control, uh, line input channel 2 is working, and um, if I do a, a channel uh, switch, it will now come out uh, on this one, which is the, um, uh, which is the monitor side if you like, the tape monitor side. Um, it's switched because if I were coming in the tape in, um, that then would come out this one. Unless unless I've got the thing in its normal position. This is a normal position tape in, that, uh, that uh, uh, switch push button out. So it's in its normal con configuration. So tape comes through this thing and is sent to the main bus here with a bit of panning as well. And some crude EQ. Uh, nothing very exciting there. At least that's working. Uh, right, so what I'm going to do now is to take this microphone, uh, it's going through this channel, I'll suppress the left-right feed but I'll send it to all of the groups. So now we'll see if we then assign the groups to left-right, we will get 1-2 going to left-right, which I can demonstrate. That's it. Uh, that's assigning to 1-2. Take it out for a moment. 3-4, there we are, I can assign to 3-4 if I want to, uh, there, 5-6, again, depending on where I set that, and 7-8, seven, 7-8, eight. Seven, eight. or I can send it directly to the left-right bus. This time I'm going to send some effects on these channel effects, say effect 1, um, I'm going to send it out here. So this is now going out uh, on effects one. This is a, a thing which sums together all effects one knobs here. Uh, I can pre-fade that listen if I want to. Um, and I can I can vary the amount that's actually sent out. Goes out here. And I'm monitoring that just coming back in on channel 16. So obviously I would not turn up that otherwise it would hoot. Um, so you can create a submix, if you like, of all the reverb contributions and then send it out. But that's then you can then simply bring that back 
through one of these four returns. So these are stereo returns, and this is only a mono plug. So I'll um, what I'll do is I'll just stick this thing so that it kisses both uh, connections and assign to left right. And now you can see that I've got uh, the ability to um, to bring a return back, and you can actually. You can actually make it a mono return instead of a stereo return if you feel like it. But hey, there, uh, there we are. Um, that is the Allen & Heath GS3 recording console.